we're going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going, we're recovering, but to a different economy. And it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for, for many workers. In Silicon Valley and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're gonna get di yuan digital wallets, they're gonna receive digital yuan, they're gonna use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're gonna take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. Please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. Remember, those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. And in the times that we're in right now, we definitely need to know how the world works. Much love. To those who purchased the Three Kids books, it's time to re-educate. Also, much love to those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon. Much love. Keep it coming. And remember, the New World Order cryptos are in my Patreon. Plus, I keep you up to date with the New World Order events. And that is so important because, guys, we are getting close to that main event. And then also, much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And, of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And we are having a pullback. And don't forget, guys, Friday we have options but then on the 5th, we know they need Bitcoin. So definitely when it comes Monday, when CME opens, we definitely should be moving up due to open interest. Now we have 1 billion Ethereum burn in the past 30 days. And can Ethereum hit 4,000? And of course, guys, that answer is no. We know what the Fed has to do. They have to build this fourth industrial revolution. That's why we're waiting on this main event. We know the robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy while the sheep go inside the metaverse. And guys, I am working on the crypto teacher NFTs. Now, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have volume, we have tether, we have USDC. We have USDC gobbles tether market share, reaching that $50 billion in market cap. And as we know, guys, when we go inside of a bear market, stable coins move right on up while everything else is moving down. We know stable coins are the foundation of this new digital economy. Stable coins, CBDCs, give the new world order total control. Now, of course, guys, we have the Fed. Don't forget to pay attention to the actual repo. We know that repo is how they're controlling yields. We know the Fed is going to raise rates, stop QE, and roll off this balance sheet. Sounds like the impossible, but they have to do it. We know the only way they can control inflation is is by raising rates but it's hard to raise rates on this size of a balance sheet so that's the reason why we're waiting on that main event and of course guys grayscale grayscale actually bought a billion so they're moving right on up at open interest time remember they move in lockstep with the actual fed so make sure you keep an eye on the grayscale well now getting over to a little crypto news guys we have jack dorsey says dm was a waste of time meta should have focused on bitcoin but then also, guys, we get the news that Silvergate's acquisition of DM assets positive for stablecoin launch. Plans on launching a stablecoin by end of year. And guys, we know Facebook has the money and power to launch its own stablecoin. Remember, they already have Facebook Pay. A stablecoin is nothing but a digital dollar. We know that USDC and Paxos 
are going to be those main private stable coins inside the United States. Facebook is that perfect platform of what they want to mimic that China's doing. Social credit, social shopping, social working inside the metaverse. And remember the crypto teacher told you. Now we have the NYDIG offering allows participating companies to pay employees in Bitcoin. And guys, we know what this is all about, adoption. Right now, you definitely don't want to get paid in Bitcoin because the Fed definitely has to pull back. Now we have TSOS transactions and smart contracts activities surge on NFT demand. We also had Wazer X token, India's biggest crypto exchange, jump 30% after the news of India's 30% taxes on crypto. Now we have FTX acquires Japan's FCA licensed crypto exchange liquid. And guys, we know the emerging markets, the Asian connection. Please go watch my Society 5.0 videos. Remember guys, we planned it inside the United States. We have the Japan leaders and our corporations planning the fourth industrial revolution. Now we have Consistus acquires my crypto Ethereum wallet interface provider to improve the security of its product. And lastly, guys, we have major crypto exchanges I Asia markets amid growing regulatory clarity. And again, guys, they're 10 years ahead of us on purpose. Remember, we planned it, funded inside the United States and all over Asia, South America, Africa, the Middle East. We're seeing them move fast forward with the fourth industrial revolution, where robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows when it comes to the new world order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book, plus the three kids' books, it's time to re-educate. Also, if you know cryptos, Coinbase, BitChu, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, while everybody's sitting at home, got their own stocks, the C-Word, the biotech stocks, and while everybody's at home wishing they were still getting that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks. You have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis. Whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figures. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. Long COVID-33. Part 3. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.